Hey guys, so a bunch of LEGO rumors have been coming out today and I just wanted to quickly cover the rumored LEGO Star Wars sets for summer 2021. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the rumors. So first up, the $200 UCS set is apparently going to be an R2-D2. Yay? Uh, I see no reason for this to exist, honestly. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a nice build, but I have zero interest in it whatsoever. Uh, all the character sets have been $100 or less up to this point, so I don't see a reason for this to be a $200 R2-D2, uh, let alone for it to be an R2-D2 at all. Uh, and it's apparently going to be like a slight upgrade to the 2012 version, so I just don't understand why this is a set. Like I said, I'm sure it'll be a nice build, I just have zero interest in it. Next is the $350 UCS set. Uh, I was actually all set up to make a video that would probably would have come out today uh, about what this might be, thinking that the gunship would be the $200 set. I had some great ideas for what this $350 set might be. Well, I was way off since the gunship was, is the $350 set, with R2 uh, being the $200 one. Uh, this is definitely going to be worth the money, and it will be a great build, I'm sure, as well as hopefully having some cool minifigures, maybe a Jedi Bob Phase 2 Cody. Um, but I am not a huge fan of it being $350. Like I said, it will definitely be worth the money. I'm sure we will get an incredible build for that price, you know, with the extra pieces that they'd be able to put in. Um, but I do kind of wish that we had gotten a smaller $200 version, uh, just to make the set more affordable. But I am excited for this one either way. And then the final UCS set for the year is the $800 one, and we still don't really know anything about it. Uh, some of the rumors are saying Death Star, I'm not sure, Death Star 1 or 2. Uh, MNR seems to think that it might be an at, -AT and we, the truth is we just don't know yet. Um, I'm leading more towards Death Star personally, uh, just since LEGO wouldn't have retired the 2016 one without a good reason. Um, but, you know, you never know with this, uh, so we'll just have to find out about this one later. Uh, will I get it, Death Star or AT-AT? Uh, no, just since it's $800, I don't really want to spend that much. Um, but I am excited to see what this set turns out to be, and I am sure it'll be a nice build. But now on to regular sets, starting with the cheapest. We have a Maul vs. Ahsoka set at $20. Uh, this is obviously based off of their duel in Season 7 of The Clone Wars. And as long as the build turns out okay, this should really be a must-buy set. Uh, not too much to say about it. It'll just be a cheap set with great figures and hopefully a great build. Next is a $30 set, uh, but we don't know anything about it at all. It might be another Mega Battle Pack, or it could be another Luke's Landspeeder. Uh, I'm not going to bother to speculate, since if my UCS predictions are anything to go off of, I am terrible at speculation. Next is the $40 Imperial Troop Transport. Uh, this is going to be a Mandalorian set, and it'll include a Stormtrooper, Grief Karga, and the Mortar Trooper, uh, which was in the episode of Season 2 called The Tragedy. And uh, this should be a very good set, uh, as long as the build looks good. Uh, as long as it looks better than the Battle Pack one from 2015, I will be happy. And uh, this should be another must-buy set for Mandalorian fans. Next is a $50 Slave 1. And when I first heard this rumor, I got really excited because I thought we might get a version of Boba with his repainted armor. But then I saw that it's just going to be uh, Boba and Han, which means this is going to be an orig original trilogy set. So that means no Mandalorian style Boba. Uh, so if you have the UCS version like I do, or the 2019 version, there probably won't be any reason for you to buy this set, unless the Boba minifigure is uh, just incredible, but I doubt that, uh, since it won't be from the Mandalorian or anything, just an updated uh, original trilogy Boba Fett. Uh, so unless you don't have a Slave 1, uh, this will probably be a set to skip, although it is great to see a cheaper Slave 1 set. And next up is a $60 Mando Fighter. This is going to be a Clone Wars set with Bo-Katan, Gar Saxon, and a blue Mandalorian. Saxon is apparently going to have a helmet with horns on it, which should be really cool to see. And the other figures should be good as well, especially Bo-Katan. Uh, the other Mando uh, hopefully is an updated version of the 2011 one. Uh, so while not an exciting character, should be a cool minifigure as well. Uh, so I'm really feeling like this is going to be a great set. Then there is the $100 Bad Batch Shuttle. I know a lot of people have been wanting this, and it will come with all five members of the Bad Batch. Uh, this is great, but I probably will skip this one myself, at least for a while. I really love the Clone Wars, but I don't really need to own this set. Uh, maybe if I ever find it on sale, I'd go for it. But right now, I don't think I'll get it, but it is good to see it being made. I know people have wanted this set for a long time, so I'm glad to see it finally come out. 
And finally, we have Moff Gideon's Cruiser at $160. This will have six figures, Beskar Mando, Baby Yoda, Cara Dune, Gideon, Fennec, and maybe a Dark Trooper. Uh, not a bad figure selection, although Baby Yoda is getting a little too common at this point, uh, in my opinion. And I think Cara Dune could have been swapped for another figure, uh, maybe like that other Mandalorian uh, that Bo-Katan is with. Uh, but this set will save me from having to buy the terrible Tatooine Mando set to get Beskar Mando. I was pretty uh, light and easy on that set on the video I did about it a while back, but I really do not like it now. Uh, also, Moff Gideon will be a great figure to finally get, as well as Fennec, and hopefully that six mini figure is a Dark Trooper, because that would be a great figure to get as well. Uh, there's also going to be a Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber, uh, but not much is known about that one. And there's also going to be the Advent Calendar, but that comes out every year, not a big surprise there. And I will quick mention that the May the 4th promo is apparently going to be a Tatooine homestead, uh, which in my opinion is one of the worst things that they could have done. Uh, they have overdone pretty much everything Tatooine and Luke related at this point, and I swear they will include a farm boy Luke in there just to spite us. And that will do it for the LEGO Star Wars Summer 2021 rumors. Uh, pretty good lineup, in my opinion. I personally am not interested in all of them. I definitely won't buy them all. Uh, but it is a very solid wave of sets. It's great to see LEGO finally putting out sets that the fans want instead of what they did at the beginning of 2021. Uh, you guys can leave your thoughts on this wave in the comments below, and if you enjoyed, a like is very much appreciated, and if you want to see more from me, make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on, and that will do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.